All right, we're, we'll kind of wrap up 2D equilibrium with this problem. It's a really good problem. Uh, I like it, kind of a test type uh, problem. Um, so we want to determine the maximum weight of the bucket that the wire system can support so that no single wire develops a tension exceeding 100 pounds. Okay? So with problems like this, I don't know if your first instinct, maybe kind of my first instinct might have been, well... I want to make sure that a wire doesn't exceed 100 pounds. What if I just set all of these to 100 pounds? Can I set all of these to 100 pounds? No. All right, why not? Because it, it may not stay in this arrangement. It may not be in this at these angles if they were all 100 pounds. So only one of them is going to get up to 100 pounds. Uh, the rest of them maybe well, it won't get up to, maybe one of them will be 80, one will be 75, one will be 60. Uh, so, so if you got a problem like this where you have a bunch of different wires and says something about, you know, how no, make sure that none of the wires go above a tension exceeding 100 pounds, only one of these wires is going to hit 100 pounds. So for these two-dimensional problems, how do I want you to do this? I want us, I don't want you to guess, okay? Um, I want us to write all the tensions in terms of the same variable. In this case, write all of them in terms of this weight of the bucket W down here. So, if I know that, hey, oh, tension BC, that's 0.5W, and tension AB is 0.7W, and the tension in BE is 0.9W, then I can compare them, and I can say, oh, well, BE is, is the larger one. It's 0.9W. The other ones are, are 0.4, 0.5, uh, and then I can find that, oh, it's, it's, it's wire BE that is the limiting factor, right? That, that's not what it will be, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's going to be. So uh, I need to find the limiting factor. The limiting factor. I need to find the wire that reaches uh, 100 pounds first. Uh, I don't know if first is, is a good way, but that I want to find the wire that has the maximum tension, right? Find the wire with the most, the maximum tension. And I'm going to do that by writing them all in terms of the same variable. My variable is W. Okay, that's my plan. That's my game plan. All right, how am I going to do that? Well, by free body diagrams, by summing the forces equals to zero. What should I draw a free body diagram of? What should I draw a free body diagram of? I have a few options. Um, you see these rings, you know, I could draw free body diagrams of these rings, and I've got all these ropes, these tensions pulling off of them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a free body diagram of E, free body diagram of B. Let's start with E because it has kind of almost kind of has fewer unknowns. Um, e is, is closer to this W that I'm trying to write everything in terms of W. Uh, so here is my E and here would be my free body diagram. I've got the weight acting straight down. I've got the tension in ED and I've got the tension in B. E. This one is at a 3, 4, 5. This one is at a 30 degree angle. Let me define my axes. I'll call that X and Y. Try to make it self-sufficient. All right. And so that, that's what I can do. I don't know this weight just yet, but I can write things in terms of W. All right. I'm going to sum the forces in the X direction equals zero. All right. So I've got TED cosine 30, and it is the uh, three-fifths component. I put a negative because it's pointed to the left. Remember, tension is always pulling. I'll always draw ropes pulling out of your point that you're drawing your free body diagram for. Uh, there we go. That uh, equals zero. All right. 
that's all I've got in the X direction. Set those equal to zero. I can't really solve right away. Let me maybe keep a little bit of room available, skip a little line, and sum the forces in the Y direction. Before I forget, I've got negative uh, W. Uh, let's see, I've got the T, B, E, the four-fifths component pointed up, and the T, E, D, sine 30 component pointed up. Set those equal to zero. All right, so I want to write everything in terms of W. I'm not going to solve for T, B, E, or T, E, D just yet. I'm going to rearrange it and, and write everything in terms of W as best I can. How do you do that for two these two equations? I kind of have, so if you have two equations and you have three unknowns, you're going to want to write two of those unknowns in terms of the other. All right. Uh, simultaneous equations, I like to write, you know, use substitution, write one in terms of the other. Uh, so I'm just going to take this one right here, uh, you know, add that over to the other side, divide through by cosine 30, and I could get that TED is 0.6928TEB. And then I can plug that in right there, and I can say, okay, so point. 69828 TEB times sine 30, and I can add that with 4 fifths, and I would get uh, 1.1464 TBE uh, and minus W equals 0. So let me write TBE in terms of W, right? Maybe add that to the other side, divide through by. 1.1464, I would get 0.8923W, and then I would come back up here, and I would get TED is 0.60, uh, 0 0.60, I can't read my handwriting, either 9.3 or 4.3, let's say 0.6043W. Okay, so I have written I'm going to put a blue star by that. I've written TBE in terms of WTED in terms of the... Now I can compare the two. Which one is larger? TBE. All right, so so I know I, I'm doing that so I can compare all the tensions. I'm doing that so I can compare all the tensions. Okay, now let me jump to a free body diagram of link B so I can look at those other ropes. So I can look at those other ropes. So let me look at B. And it's free body diagram. Look back at that. Um, I've got the tension in AB. I've got the tension in BC. All right. And I have this rope right here, the tension in BE. All right. So it is still 0.8923, and it is pulling. 0.8923W. Remember Newton's third law that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, e feels this pulling up and to the left. B feels this pulling equal and opposite down and to the right. Uh, it's the same rope. It has the same tension. Tension is always pulling, right? Ropes are always pulling. So it's pulling at B. All right, this is at a still at a three, four, five angle. This is at a 30 degree angle. Uh, define my axes, X and Y. I think that's self sufficient. So now I think I can sum my forces in the X direction, sum my forces in the Y direction. Sum, sum the force in the X direction, TBC, uh, the cosine 30 minus TAB. And then, let's see, 0.8923W, and it is the 3 fifths component that's in the x direction. Set those equal to 0. Uh, and then let me come to sum my forces in the y direction. TBC sine 30 minus 0.8923W, the uh, 4, that's a 4, 4 fifths component right there equals zero. So from this equation, right, bring that to the other side, divide through by sine 30, and I would get TBC is a 1.395W. Oh, a little bit larger than, than, than these other tensions. 
Okay, let me keep going. Let me plug this back in right there. And I would get TAB is 1.732. 0.732W. Let me put a star by that. Okay, now that I know those ropes, I know all the ropes, and actually, I didn't really look at this rope, but I, I really should have the tension in E, we'll call it W, is, is, is 1W. All right, so the tension in this one is 1W. The tension in these two, 0.8923W and 0.6043W. The tension in these two, 1.395, 1.732, which one is the limiting factor? Which one is going to reach 100 pounds first? Which one is going to have the most tension? A, B. Okay? Now, in general, you know, sometimes you can look, and, and not always, but a lot of times the one that is um, not in the direction of the W might give you the most tension. Uh, but it also depends on if it had help over here. You could make educated guesses as to which one was the limiting factor, but I want you to write them all in terms of W, compare them all, and then set that to limiting factor. You, Because we had to do the free body diagrams, we had to do the equations anyway, and now that we did that to begin with, we've got a really simple, we can finish it out real simple. So the, here's my limiting factor. Set this one to the maximum. So I can say 1.732W is equal to 100 pounds. So that means W would be 57.7 pounds. 57.7 pounds. That's a good problem to do. Good problem to practice. So, you know, I'll, I'll, we had to kind of understand the whole idea of this problem is that all of them are not going to reach 100. Only one of them is. I need to find the maximum. And in order to find the maximum, I want to write all of them in terms of the same variable so that I can compare them. After I can compare all five, then go ahead and set that one equal to 100. And you only have one more, one more step. Once you set it to 100, then you can find W. Then you can find W. And so then if I needed, if it had asked me, okay, what's the tension in BC? What's the tension in ED? What's the tension in BE? Then I could find those and I could double check, but I would definitely be under 100 pounds. I'd be under 100 pounds. Okay.